Hey everyone, um, it's been a while. I want to let everybody know what the plan is from here. Uh, last month has been an absolute blur, um, and it's been it's been the toughest thing you can imagine. Um, I have to thank everybody for their messages of support. Um, you know, like I'm overwhelmed with the amount of love and support I've received from, you know, 99% of people. The other 1% make my life difficult. And uh, I've never been closer to just wanting to shut everything down because of those 1% of comments. Now, I'm not gonna, but I might turn comments off for a little bit. I'll see how it goes on this video. I've tightened comment restrictions severely and I normally don't do that. I'm a no censorship guy, unless you're being just a jerk for no reason. Uh, I let comments slide with people's opinions, people's whatever, but this is not the time or the place. Um, my sister moderates comments and she was best friends with Jess and she sees all these and she's grieving too. It's not just me. So um, we'll try the comments. I'll keep a close eye on it, but I'll be ready to have these pulled at any moment um, until I can bulk up on my moderators. Uh, there's a few other people I'm talking to to help get through comments. All that stuff aside, yeah, thanks. To, <laughs> thank you to the 99% uh, who have been great. Thanks to Mav, uh, who had stopped by here and actually made me dinner. I know he just posted a video of that today. Um, and got to meet my mom and uh, crazy neighbor, Glenn. Um, so all that good stuff. Now, um, all that stuff aside, um, I'm going to keep making videos. Uh, and they're going to be different, probably. But I'm still Steve, right? I'm grieving, but this channel isn't grieving with Steve. It's camping with Steve. And Jess and I had a journey planned to BC that we were supposed to be on right now. Um, basically, right after my birthday, our plan was that we were going to leave to BC and probably come back for Canadian Thanksgiving, uh, which is October 11th this year, and then head back out for the rest of the winter uh, to escape the snow. Because after three years of camping, uh, sometimes stealthily, with just a backpack and temperatures down to minus 30, uh, I'm, I'm getting too old for that. So um, I still like the cold weather camping. I'm going to do some of that, but I'm going to spend a lot of time um, not stealthing in the freezing cold. It's just downright dangerous, and I'm an old man now, guys. <laughs> so um, with, with all that, there's going to be great stealth camping opportunities on the coast in BC. It'll be warmer and I will be able to just use a backpack. Uh, I'll film some winter ones with, uh, you know, a hot tent or something nice and cozy, uh, the way that camping should be done. So this is going to be home for the winter. There's this, uh, it's a little Bigfoot, uh, This piece fell off. I'm gonna have to buy new screws for it. Lost the screws on the road somewhere. But uh, my car can pull this, uh, the RAV4. And that was pretty much the selling feature. Um, oh, get a close up of the license plate there. Uh, in uh, Inside, that's pretty basic. Um, it's uh, it's got a fridge, the furnace, uh, that turns into a bed. It's got some closet space. Uh, so another little seating area that turns into a bed. I'll do a full tour on this at some point, but uh, I'm gonna be taking it out this week sometimes because I've been surrounded with loved ones and people that care. Um, and it's been a great support for me, but I think I'm at the point a month in where I need to park on a mountain somewhere, bawl my eyes out and scream at the sky. All that stuff, you know, the regular, I don't know what stage in the grieving process, scream at the sky is, but everybody does it. Um, and I know a lot of you have experienced loss even since I posted this video. Statistically, out of a million people, there are probably thousands that have been affected by loss of a loved one. And I feel for you guys, um, more than you can know. And what I'm gonna do is kind of try to try to let you know that everything is gonna be all right. 
Um, uh, I just, I still think it will. Um, different, but everything will be all right. So that's the camper. Um, trying to not make this depressing because um, it's, I don't want, I don't want the coming videos. I've, I've taken a good amount of time here uh, and well, it's a month, but uh, a lot of people sink themselves into work to get their mind off a loss and to, it's just a part of the way a lot of people grieve. My work has become chatting with a million awesome people. So I don't want to give that up, but I also don't want the videos to change to some depressing, morbid, um, you know, we're here for a good time. So we're going to try to make the best of it, of course. And uh, the rest of the update here is garbage is back at the house. Sign up there. So no one lets him out. We're continuing work on the house. Uh, there's a contractor. There's a crazy neighbor. Guys. He's been he's been an awesome uh, awesome support for me uh, through all of this. I couldn't ask for a better best friend. There's garbage. Want to say hi to the world? Sleeping in a box there. So garbage is uh, content. He loves all the amount of flies there are in here. I'm sure he's going to love the mouse when he finds it. But uh, yeah, <laughs> so. This is kind of home base now, um, all moved out of the apartment, just have to turn the keys over there. And uh, I don't know, that's, uh, this is going to get some use one day. I uh, decided when I got people out here, we're going to have a lot of hot dogs. So with that, uh, I guess with that being said, um, I'm not going to ramble on forever here, but it's... Uh, jumping back on the horse and I'm seeing how it's going. So, um, this went easier than I thought it would. I've been putting this off for a week. Uh, I don't have notes or anything. I'm just kind of pouring my heart out and talking about what I plan to do. So, um, with that being said, uh, if you guys see any, any real jerk comments, you know, probably the human population, I would say, and I'm being pretty generous, I think is maybe 5% jerks. I know, probably underestimating a little bit, but even out of 100,000 comments, 5% of that is real tough to see. So we'll see how it goes. Fingers crossed, I bumped up some keywords uh, and I may pull the comments for a bit. Uh, not forever because I know people have met other people. It's a great community. People have become friends off of the comments section here. So it's fantastic people um and the journey will continue and yeah if you see any of these uh garbagey tabloid style sites uh trying to capitalize on this or make a buck please report them as well so hunker down guys um plan is maybe this thursday i don't know there could be an actual video up and it's going to be again different i'm not feeling jovial like crawling into storm drains and stuff right now um, not to say that I won't do that again, but for they're going to be kind of mundane videos for a few weeks. And then once I get back in the groove, if I can remember how to even edit and upload, we'll be back in business. And uh, yeah, throughout the winter, I will be back for the holidays to the Edmonton area for our Canadian Thanksgiving on the 11th. Because um, there is the family tradition that uh, I'm still going to continue carrying on. Um, my in-laws are family as well. Um, so we are still going to continue to do our Christmases, our Thanksgivings, our Easters, all that good stuff. Um, so I'll be kind of traveling around. Um, I've, I don't know where I'm going, but uh, I hope you guys come along. Cheers.